All right, 13.2, volume of pyramids and cones. So, um, in class, um, I asked everyone how much they thought this pyramid, how much space it took up in comparison to the whole prism. Um, and there's a lot of guesses. Most people thought it was about half. But the reality uh, is that it is exactly one-third of the volume of the prism. Um, so, the formula for the volume of a pyramid is one-third the base area times the height. So that's our basic formula that we're going to use for all pyramids, not just square pyramids, but, but all pyramids will, will follow that volume formula. So, let's check out this first problem. This is Victor's making a plaster model of the food guide pyramid for a class presentation. The model is a square pyramid with a base of 12 inches, so that means that this is 12 inches, and this side is going to be 12 inches as well. Sorry, my two is kind of funky. Um, and a height of 15. Find the volume of the plaster needed to make the model. Well, it's a pyramid, so we were going to do volume equals one-third. The base area, since it's a square, is just going to be 12 squared, and then we're going to multiply by the height, which is 15. Okay, well, let's do the math on this. Um, we got uh, one third of 144 times 15. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know a third of 144, but I do know a third of 15. It's 5. So I just need to do 5 times 144. And um, there's certain ways, there's little tricks to do that in your head. You could do 5 times 12 and then multiply that by 12, or 5 times 4 is 20. That's 200. And that's um, 500. So, 500 plus 200 plus 20 is 720. Or you could just plug it into a calculator. But, yeah, you get 720 inches, and now it's cubed, because we're talking about volume. Okay, that's it. So, then I asked the class, well, if a pyramid is one-third of a prism, how much is a cone of a cylinder? And again, people thought one-half, one-fourth three-fourths, but the truth is that a cone is very similar to a pyramid. In fact, you could kind of think of a cone as a pyramid with infinite number of sides, and that's what gives it the, the roundness, because it has infinite sides. And so, the formula is very similar. It is one-third the base area, which is pi r squared, times the height. And also another way of writing these, I forgot to mention on the last one, but you could write pi r squared times the height and then divide that by 3. That's something that you could do. So, we have a few cones here. Um, this is 8 inches, this is 8 inches. This is 10. This angle here is 48. And that's all they're telling you is that that angle is 48. And then the last one, we have an oblique cone with a radius of 8.6 and a height of 12. And it is upside down. So is this one. That doesn't really matter. So um, I think you should be able to find all of those. So I want you guys to go ahead and do it. Um, I'll give you, you could uh, pause the video, try it, and then I'll go through each of those problems. Okay. Adios. All right, well. We got volume equals pi, the radius is 8, squared times the height, which is also 8. So this is really, you could say this is 8 cubed. And so you get 64 times 8, which is 512. So you'll have a 512 pi. Plug that into your calculator. And I just realized I forgot the one-third. That is crucial. So 512 divided by 3 or multiplied by one-third is 170. 170.6 repeating pi. And then when we, when we actually multiply that by pi, we get 536 Point, we could say about 
inches cubed. Okay, there's that one. Now let's take a look at item B here, which I think is a little bit trickier. Because they only give us this, um, this distance here, the height, and they expect us to find that radius from the angle they give us. Well, that's not that hard because we know Sokotoa. And so we have Sokotoa, and here we have an angle with an adjacent side and an opposite side, so that's opposite adjacent. And in the Sokotoa, that means I'm going to be using Toa. And so that's tangent of, oh, almost forgot, tangent of 48 equals the opposite, which in this case is 10 over the adjacent, which in this case is R. And we can just switch these two. We learned that a while back, so we would get that the radius is 10 divided by tangent 48. And then when you plug that in your calculator, you should get something like 9.004. So 9 is a pretty good estimate of what the radius is, 9 inches, but we can use 9.004 just to be a little bit more precise. And we're going to find the volume now. Well, remember that volume equals one-third times pi times the radius, which we're going to say is 9.004 squared times the height, which we already know to be 10. So we're going to pretty much just plug all that into the calculator. Um, I like plugging one-third into the calculator by just doing one divided by three in parentheses. So let me do that in my calculator for just a second. And I got 848.98, or we could say 849.0, and that would be inches cubed. Okay, let's go to the last one. Um, Nothing really changes on this one. Even though it's oblique, we still have a radius, we still have a height, and we're just going to plug that in to our formula. So, once again, volume equals 1 third pi with a radius of 8.6 squared times 12. So, we're just plugging a lot of these into our calculator because uh, once we set up the formula, that's really all there is to do. So let me plug that into this into my calculator again and see what I get. And when I plug it in, I get 929.4 inches cubed. All right. That's it to cones. Pretty simple, simple formula. Um, sometimes you're going to see questions like this where you got to find the radius using trig. Uh, other times you're going to see questions where you're gonna have to. They won't. Maybe they won't give you the radius, but they'll give you the slant height. And so you gotta work backwards using Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the radius is. So that's the kind of stuff you're gonna see. Maybe a couple different tricks with pyramids, where you might have to solve to find out what the height is, or solve to find out what the base area is. All different kinds of things like that. But all stuff that we've done before, and we're just plugging into this formula of v equals one-third the base area times the height. Okay, see you guys in the next video.